So here we are in the opening screen of Mesh Mixer, and there are a variety of things we can do. Let's start by importing the sphere and learn a few commands within the interface. Step one, let's learn how to move something. So you're going to move to the Edit tool, choose Transform, and in order to move something, you just click the arrows on the sides to orbit. You right-click and hold on your mouse, and if you want to rotate the actual object, you'll see that there are these curved markers which indicate movement along a particular path and how many degrees you want to shift it. When you're happy with how you've moved your object, select Accept and it will hold that position. I'm now going to show you how to split your object into two parts and the way we're going to do that is we're going to select the Plane Cut from the Edit tab. From the Plane Cut tab you'll see that you can move your plane up and down left and right, but in this case let's, let's just think about splitting this sphere in half. So I'm going to move it to about half the sphere. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say keep both from the drop down menu and I'm going to select remesh fill. So the walls after I split them are going to be filled in. I'm then going to say accept. You're not going to see any split yet. What I'll then need to do is move to separate shells. and You'll see that in what is called the object browser on the right I have two halves of the sphere that I can switch between. Let's go ahead now and let's move one downwards. So I'm going to transform this one and I'm gradually going to separate it and move it downwards. You'll see that now we have two parts to the sphere and we can switch back and forth between them. I'm now going to show you how to align something to a flat plane. Let's first delete one half of our sphere that we separated earlier by selecting the shell we want to delete and then going to the trash can symbol. I'm then going to select the other half and I'm going to then go to mesh mix to drag in another object and let's say that I want this um, angled shape right here. I'm going to say accept. Now say I want to align this flat face with the bottom flat half of our half sphere. It's pretty easy to do. All I have to do is go to edit. I'm going to go to the align tab uh, and then you'll see that there'll be another one of these shapes that pops up, but ignore that one for the moment. That gives you a representation as to what plane the object is on. I'm then going to use the drop-down menus to select Surface Scribble, and then also Surface Scribble on the second one. You'll see that there are two parts to the alignment, the source object and the destination object. I'm first going to select the source object by left-clicking on the plane, and I'm going to scribble on it just to indicate that it's this surface that I want to align. And then I'm going to say that I want it to be on this flat surface by holding down shift and then scribbling on this with blue. When I let go, you'll see that it's actually put itself in place and it's not perfect. What you'll need to do then is you'll have to rotate it um, to the correct position. And this blue arrow allows you to switch up and down between the face uh, that we asked to be aligned with that flat surface being facing upwards or downwards, like so. Once you're happy with how you've aligned things, you can just say accept. The final thing I'm going to show you is how to combine two objects. So you're going to go to the object browser here on the right. You're going to hold down shift to select both of these pieces. And then I'm going to go to the tab up here and I'm going to say combine you'll see that the object browser now indicates that there's only one object because we merged those two earlier ones together. And let's say that I want to scale this so it's smaller. I'm then going to select transform and then I'm going to go into the scale and right now it's at one because it's at its 100% size but let's say I want to make it half of its size. I'm going to type in 0.5 enter and you'll see that the object itself jumps down to half its size and you'll see that we get the millimeter measurements as well. Select Accept when you like it. When you're completely done, you can go to the print, uh, 3D print toolbar, click that, and you'll see that it jumps right to the print surface, um, well, representation of the 3D printer surface, and you can see how big the object will be when we lay it there.